Um, so my thing is like how to crochet a four leaf clover. Um, and first things that you need to do is find a pattern. And the places that I find patterns are like literally just Google and Pinterest. So what I usually search up is for this one, I searched up four leaf clover pattern crochet free on Pinterest. So that's how I got the pattern for this. And the pattern that I got was up there. Um, and yeah, and then you'll also need some materials and some materials. You'll need a, the, your yarn, your pattern, your hook, yarn needle, and scissors. So like, that's the thing that you need. Um, and then step two is basically you start the pattern. So this is like half of round one, like the four leaf clover. And then step two is I finish the four pattern one, round one of the four leaf clover. Um, and step four is I just did the second round and this is what the, the end product looks like. And then some stitches that I use, most of the stitches I used in this, but some stitches that I use all the time is the chain stitch, which is this one, the single crochet, the slip stitch, which is the purple part in the middle of this one, and then the half double crochet. Yes, it is. And what was that called? The purple? The purple one is the um slip stitch. Okay, which which is that a harder stitch to learn from the beginning when you start first? I mean, I would say it's one of the easiest ones though. Okay, I'll ask it. Um it's basically the same thing as this, but instead of um like yarning over again to pull through the loop, you just pull through it's kinda hard to explain, but it says it right there. Okay, so what is the first stitch and most common stitch you use? That's the thing. Is um, the first stitch you learn, the most common one is most yeah. common, what they're called. Um, well, it's the single crochet stitch, and another one that I use a lot is the like increased and decreased ones, which I don't have up here. Which, what's that mean? Um, the increased one is where I do um, two single crochet and one like of these V things on the side. And that's so it like doubles the stitches, and then the decrease is where um, you take the thing and you do like through one of the things and then through another one, and then you turn over and pull it through. What yeah. are the benefits to you of when you crochet? Um, give me your benefit. What are the benefits for you? Morgan? It helps me relax a lot, kind of most times, and. What else besides relax? Um, mostly it is just relaxing and it's fun to like make things for like other people and like sure. gifts. So it's the relaxation and the, is there a sense of accomplishment when you get something done? Yeah. And then the giving, being able to be generous and give. Yeah. Right. Like when you've done that for the class. You know, yeah. Great. All right. Thank you, Amelia. All right, Rohan.